Welcome to Bitcoin Stuff. Hey guys, quick video on uses for tokens. So I did this uh, Ask Me Anything earlier today and somebody um, somebody asked me if BCH ha needs tokens. And what that means is you can create new units on BCH. You can also use uh, Bitcoin as a decider. And some, some people have uh, figured out how to do that. So Bitcoin can work work like, like Ethereum if you add uh, tokens to BCH. You can make uh, <laughs> smart contracts on the blockchain that use tokens. And I, I basically said that I don't know why people want tokens, but it should be about figuring out what Bitcoin is actually good for. So if people want tokens, uh, you know, let them let them play around with tokens. Um, it 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 should be it should be about uh, doing experiments. Uh, so I was thinking, but why do people want tokens? What what could you do with the token? Uh, so I am thinking about about uses for tokens, and I I came up with a couple. <laughs> so one of them is the token could represent. Um, a an an out, uh, a real world good like uh or or, or a um a non a non blockchain world good let's say like dollars okay so you could have uh to tokens that represent uh d dollars that have been uh uh stored in some bank so then it's it's not the token that's supposed to be valuable it's what it represents that's supposed to be valuable and you could do you could do this with uh with gold or some kind of physical thing too right but that's that's kind of an easy one uh that's kind of that's kind of like saying we don't need tokens cuz i'm saying we we could just use them if we're talking about something else with them that you know something else we don't need them in and of themselves but i i thought of a use for tokens i came up with something so i <laughs> you you can have uh a a program that is uh non-deterministic okay and what that means is there are, are uh, possibly multiple sequences of computations that are valid ac according to this program. So this this you a a non-deterministic program is like something that reads a sequence of potential computations and says whether whether that sequence follows the program or not a a complete description of everything that this this program can do is like uh like a tree in time there there isn't a single single sequence of uh operations that that describes it there's a tree of potential operations that describes it so uh you you could you could write a non-deterministic program into the blockchain and the blockchain itself would choose one valid sequence see so uh it, it's like a like you you don't ch you don't choose exactly what's going to run you you leave the non-deterministic program out there and then the blockchain gives you a um it gives you a potential communi uh, a potential computation and that single one is recorded in the blockchain you see so uh, we use the blockchain to go from something indeterminate to something determinant and how do we do that we use proof of work right cuz uh the the miners resolve consensus issues so what you do if you put a non-deterministic program into the blockchain is you say uh 
Here's, here's a consensus issue for you, Bitcoin, to solve for me. So let's, let's see what happens. And you could uh, introduce tokens as a way of, uh, of say, say, saying what, what, what the outcome is going to be. So you, you have some way of uh, getting, getting tokens uh, that will uh, ultimately choose one, one computation that is valid for this non-deterministic program. Um, and uh, I, I don't know how, how it would work. You, you, you can come up with your own, uh, your own game for how the tokens work. And that uh, that'll say what uh, what uh, what what computation we choose. See, um, so people who who want to get involved can get some of the tokens, and that gives them that gives them some uh, control over the outcome, depending on what what game you present them with. And then, uh, once the computation has halted, then then you don't use the tokens anymore. So, uh, so to me, if you do an ICO or something, and you say these tokens are going to be, uh, you know, they're going to be used for whatever, you know, forever down the line for this network. Uh, uh, no, I don't. I don't think that that's a very good way of of doing things. But if you were to say these these tokens are created now and they will be destroyed later once the program has halted, then uh, to me that sounds like something that's valuable. Because the the reason the reason. Uh, new new tokens that are supposed to go on forever are uh, are things that i i don't like very much is that i think i think we all just need to settle on one okay and it's kind of it's kind of not not very helpful to keep trying to introduce new ones okay what's what's helpful is to help everybody settle on one but it's you know you 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 have to program this uh, uh, this determin or this indeterministic program to use a minute memory management, right? Kind kind of like that, because you you can create an amount of the token, and then you have to make sure that it's all going to be destroyed in the end once the computation halts. Then it's not about settling on anything over time, because we know that this token is is going to be destroyed eventually. We know that its only point is for for something happening now. Some something that uh is going to be over uh a, a, at a a predetermined time or or a uh a, a predictable kind of time anyway. It's not it's not supposed to be something that's going to go on forever. Then then that sounds useful to me. That sounds like a good way of uh, coming coming to uh, decisions about things. You see what I mean? That sounds like like a a good way for a lot of people to interact with one another. So so what if you um, you wrote an, uh, a a non deterministic program that's like a like a survey? Okay, so this is something very simple. But when 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 the program halts, the uh, the output just records uh, an opinion, right? It says how big should the block size be, or whatever, anything. So then, people who want to weigh in on the issue can buy some of the tokens, right? Um. Or maybe the program actually is written to change the rules of Bitcoin for real, right? Maybe it's not just a survey. Maybe the outcome actually changes the rules. See, then 
So, so I, my new answer to the question of whether BCH should have tokens is uh, yes, but um, the uh, 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 it, I, I, I don't know if the, the way that Ethereum has used tokens in the past has has much to do with what what I think would would be useful about tokens.